It's Friday. It's the Queen Z here to give you your 12 o'clock nugget of inspiration. I hope you're feeling powerful out there today. I'm here to bring you into the power of intention. Position your mindset to be intentional. Come on, all of you listeners and viewers. Come into the power of intention today so you can deliberately think the thoughts now of your future you want. It's easy to lose a sense of direction, especially when you're setting goals and when you have dreams that you want to come true. And some of you right now are listening to my voice and you're about to live out of alignment and living out of alignment is going to place you in a life full of frustration. See, today we must live and become intentional and unleash that power of intention. Now, being intentional places a purpose behind your actions. It places a purpose behind your choices and what you are adopting and endorsing into your life. So your journey to success can line up in your destiny. You can't become intentional if you don't know what you want to be in this life. Do you understand? The intention says, I know know who I am. Intention says I deserve everything I seek out that is going to better shape my life. Intentional says it shapes your reality. Intentional shows you a better version of you and that version of you will inspire actions that will allow you to live with a purpose and become the person, the person you dreamed of being. Now, if you are not intentional, and don't pursue an intentional life, you risk becoming a person who is unbalanced and unaligned with their authentic self. Today, you have the power of intention to change your life. Use your free will, sisters and brothers, that the Almighty Father has given to you to choose your thoughts. See, your mind is a powerful piece on the chessboard. I need you to focus. I need you to listen to this because chess ain't about moves and plans. It's a mind game where the players wrestle mentally. Uh huh. See, you are working with an internal experience. You are working with your internal thoughts and feelings. But until you learn how to step back from your thoughts and create some distance from, from them before you react negatively, when you create space, you can make a more skillful choice and gain a clear perspective. See, chess is mental events. See, what move or moves have you accepted and not accepted? Whether the moves were desirable or not ideal, because whether you accept the moves, it happened because it's a part of the game. It's a part of life. And I'm telling you that there is a way to reduce our struggle with our thoughts and feelings. Yes, we have to coexist with them and acknowledge their presence, but you can use your free will on how to choose to respond to them. Let me tell you, there are people out there today that is going to make a move, whether you like the move or not whether you accept it or not. Some moves will be threatening, a threatening move, or your mind will be filled with anxious thoughts about the potential consequences. So do you have the power set back and diffuse their power it potentially has over you and consider an alternative move more objectively? That's a question that you need to ask yourself. See, the calmer we are in the game, the more strategic mannerism we will have to have a more successful outcome. See, today I want to set the power of intention in motion. See, the universal forces through the law of attraction will bring good people. It will bring you into a good circumstances and events to help you create the life of your dreams. Sometimes your miracle will come in the form of people. Uh -huh. It will come in the form of circumstances and events. See, you are not believing me today. 
Learn to let the universal forces do the bidding in your life, and that will create the power of intention. When you have knowledge of self, when you know who you are and you know what you want to become in this life, you have the power to change the situation, the challenges, the setbacks, the setups. Every single subject around you, baby, will have to bow down to you because it can't destroy you. Do you know there's a battle for your mind? A power struggle in our mind is taking place right now. There are two powerful spirits within us that are our, the our, our war with one another. And one of those spirits is our enemy and the other is the truth. The enemy is not working on our shoulders. The enemy is not working on our arms and legs or even our baby toe. The enemy is working hard to intrude our mind. Our battlefield is the enemy's playground. And I don't think we understand that we are up what we up against every day when we wake up in the morning. When you wake up in the morning there's a power that wants to win in this life there are distractions interferences disturbances there are twists there are knots and there are turns that wants to control your mind leaving you with no control so do you think the battle is simple no, it isn't simple because this is not a traffic park where somebody's going to teach you to navigate the street safely. This is an open ended play involving dangerous obstacle courses to have your focus, your have you focus your attention on the challenges because if the enemy can get your focus out of focus, then whatever happens in this playground will affect the rest of your life. Do you know there is power in your thoughts? See, thoughts is a vehicle that has the ability ability to change your power. You need to change your direction. You may be asking the question, how? Well, everything, baby, begins with a thought and your thoughts become your words and your, those words can turn into your reality. And you don't even believe or agree with what I'm saying across the airways today, are you? Okay. So let me ask you a question. How did part of you become who you are today? What have you been saying about yourself? When you open up your mouth about yourself, whether it's positive or negative, you are planting a seed about yourself. You are putting something out there in the atmosphere for it to manifest into something beautiful or something ugly. You are giving that seed the power of life or you giving, giving that seed the power of death. Whatever seed you planted within yourself, that is what it will become. Now, some of you have no clue that whatever you speak out of your mouth, you are prophesying a lie over your life. You are either prophesying a lie or you're prophesying life and truth over your life. See, your thoughts can be a deadly weapon. It can destroy you. And this means you have identified yourself with with what you have planted in your mind or your mind can become awareness that can lift away your suffering. See, emotions and feelings are the results of our thoughts. See, we communicate and act on the basis of thoughts, values, and beliefs. See, our communication is the outcome of our thoughts and our mind. People in the world wants to see how you are going to react and how you're going to respond to challenges and distractions. See, distractions challenges what, what wants to control. It wants to control the way you think. It wants to direct your thinking without you knowing about it or having control over it. So you figured out whatever gets your attention, has your attention, and then it gets you. See, you got to think, what is your weapon? Is your mind your weapon? Is your voice your weapon? Is your prayers and your worship your weapon? See, you out here on your, doing your own thing. And you're trying to tap to make some major moves in your life. You're trying to shake some things up and make something work for yourself. But it's always going to be someone or some people out there trying to stop you from being you. So what is your weapon? Is your mind your weapon? Because if you're telling yourself, I can't, 
And if you're telling yourself it's not going to work, if you lose hope in your dreams and then your thoughts are serving nothing but lies and has been deceiving you, how long does it take for you to see or to know that you're being attacked? Check your beliefs, baby. Check your motivations. State your intention. Remember, the energy flows where the intention goes. And if you haven't figured it out yet, the power of intention, my babies, lies within your willingness to become intentional. See, this is not a once and forget about it type of thing. It's continuous. It's consistent. And when you set an intention, you put yourself in a position of power. Bam!